I'm Lyle Rat. 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 And this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show. This is a show on Destructoid that I shall christen Baby Fingers. If you think the show should be called Baby Fingers, comment please don't call the show Baby Fingers down below. And if you don't think the show should be called Baby Fingers, please comment definitely call the show Baby Fingers. I think that that's probably the best and most straightforward way to do this. I do not regret the things I've done in my rise to power as they were all in the name of progress. You may find them horrific, but you will never find my gold. Go away! Valkyria Revolution is getting some free themes and DLC for its launch. When I heard that, I was so excited that I Googled what the hell that was and spelled it wrong. Sorry, hope is dead and you are not lucky enough to be. Is this like a World of Tanks paradox where I've never met a single person that's played or heard of World of Tanks, but apparently statistically an eighth of the population plays World of Tanks? Seriously, this is another World of Tanks thing. I, I need to know. People are looking for me. I, I'm not gonna get into this right now. A man from Malaysia paid $46,000 to look like Squall from Final Fantasy VIII, and now he looks like this. Hello, and welcome to Baby Fingers, the show that I took a vote on whether or not you should call Baby Fingers, and the answer was unanimously kinda confusing. But never fear, just like any great democracy, your votes are actually worthless and don't matter. You can smell the women from Dead or Alive now. That's right, you heard... You heard what you thought you heard. Look, full disclosure, I'm a prolific masturbator. In fact, I've done it three times since starting this video, once in researching this very story. So am I under the impression that I am somehow above busting my love custard to the smell of some jiggle physics? No, of course not. But uh, here's the catch. This is not something that you purchase and take home with you. This is something that you go to a facility in public to experience. The expansion titled Planes of I Refuse to Fucking Try to pronounce that. Their game has too many rats for the Switch to make, which is equal parts insightful and disgusting. So rejoice if you have buyer's remorse-induced Stockholm Syndrome, you now have something to crawl back to. Abuse is cyclical, and if you need help, please type a comment about how No Man's Sky wasn't that bad down below. Hello, and welcome to You Have to Wake Up, You're in a Coma, the show where they want to pull the plug. Please give me any sign that you're still here, you don't have much time. They're making a Fallout board game. If I wanted to be bored playing a Fallout game, I'd just play Fallout 4. Oh! Oh, fuck! I am neither proud nor sorry. Have you ever wondered what video games think about while they're off? <laughs> wow, if you said yes, sit on your fucking hands and stare at the wall. The adults are talking. The show has a name now, and if it has a name, you can't kill it. That is the actual legal law. I know a whole lawyer, and he told me that. That said, welcome to Pre-Game Discharge, the show that came too early before we could even call out its name. Nintendo is going to be holding a Mario and Metroid live stream at Gamescom. I'm usually a little more concerned when the Japanese and the Germans come together, but now that the Nazis are on the other side of the Atlantic, I- Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! I won't get political! Jeez. You look at this. This is Boy Portent. You're a PC gamer and wanted to load up on cute boys. Start slapping your arms to get those veins nice and plump, cause you're about to get boy jected with some fun and grinding. Just like any political show, I'm lying to you. What if the Mario, but political? What if the Tetris? but political. So also, to continue the theme of this sounding less and less appealing with every bit of additional information, upon opening the box, a large dollop of spiders will reportedly crawl out and immediately get lost somewhere in your house. Tune in next week to see how much blood I lose when I attempt to suture a wound with nothing but a Sega Genesis controller. You heard that right, it's going to be the world's first video game based survival show like Man vs. Wild. I'm gonna drink so much pee. They say life is about the simple things. You live, you love, you eat the good pussy, you get gout, and then you die of gout. But what they don't tell you is that there's these toys for children that eat your fucking money. It's important. It's important to play them. Because if you don't, you'll probably end up married and happy. And I care about you, and I don't want that to happen, and I know you don't want that to happen either. So if you ever, 
feel like you don't want to gamble real money for useless cosmetic items and video games that'll be obsolete in a year anyway, what you need to do is you need to reach out and you need to get help because that's not okay. It's not okay to feel that way. It's also not a game and you're not alive and none of this is real. You're still in the coma. You never woke up. The plug's on the floor and you're, you're, you, there's no oxygen going up there. This is, ooh. Not being old enough to have to get a job is the equivalent to steroids for being good at video games. Either it's real or they're teasing your wiener. Clap, 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 clap. Sonic Forces is getting a pre-order bonus edition that comes with, <coughs> this episode's gonna be a little short, like that guy from Game of Thrones. You know, the, the short guy from Game of Thrones? That's your first story, is the best Game of Thrones reference and most astute ever has been made. The, there's story number one. Flight improves everything, especially spiders. Hashtag spiders flying would vastly improve the quality of life for every species on Earth. Get that trending, that way evolution will listen to it. If you're a woman, stop brushing your labia and buying shoes for a second, cause this is a game changer. We have been blessed with the visage of Mario's nipple. Bereft are they of any flaws. Perfect by design. Or, uh, PlayStation Vita, if you know the one guy who has one. Speaking of those things, uh, re-releases, not the PlayStation Vita. In fact, if there's ever any room for doubt, just assume we're not talking about the PlayStation Vita. It's all just part of life. We all make Battleborns, and we learn from them. I wear the eye shields and the protective leathers, and that is why I am not only a superior warrior, but also why I reel in the heaviest gash and the hottest slash. That's 720 p when it's in your hand and 900p when you're docking. P enthusiasts would probably say that this is not enough P, but others might say that it doesn't matter how much P is involved as long as Mario is there. Microsoft was at one point going to make an Xbox version of the iWatch, as in, I watch my shareholders lose fucking money. You might want to sit down for this one, uh, because I know you're the world's biggest vampire fan. Breaks my heart to tell you that vampire is being delayed till spring 2018. I know you, you say all the time, you say, Lyle, I am the world's biggest vampire fan. I buy all the vampire products. They're not out yet, but I, I've pre-ordered all the vampire products. Well, I'm sorry. Don't cry. Come back next week to see a really sick kickflip. You can play all the simple plan music over it. It'll be hella tight. Bam Margera will come out of retirement. I think he's retired. Viva La Bam season six lives in our hearts and minds, but it won't have to once this fucking kickflip is so tight that it makes it real. I am sorry for all of this. Goodbye. All right, so check the date. Oh, oh, who's this? If it isn't Bam fucking Margera. I wasn't also trying to bring back CKY, by the way. That was just sort of a happy accident. Some people say that I am too negative, and you know what? That's a very fair criticism. So today, we're gonna start the show off with a little bit of motivation. So just remember, you are great, you are going to do great, and you're pregnant. That's right, you're pregnant. Remember how pregnant you are. Hold on to that feeling of pregnancy. You are pregnant and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, especially not a doctor. You get to meet the cowboy that your boy will be cowing up on for this whole game. So hope you like him, because if you don't like him, there's no givesies backsies you can't return him to the cow from whence he came. Once that door closes to this realm, it is closed forever. Movie studios make North Korea style threats about making video game movies all the time. They never actually happen. Like the Gears of War movie, or the God of War movie, or the Halo movie twice, or the Uncharted movie, or the Tetris trilogy, or Pixels starring Adam Sandler. See? Never happened. Like a bad dream. Sony has decided to stop leaking your credit card information and just cut out the middleman by being your credit card. If you're fucking incapable of any sense of reasonable caution, you can entrust your finances to a company with notorious 
ridiculously low security with the PlayStation credit card. If you like making biannual fraud reports, this is the deal for you. The president of PlayStation, Andrew House, is leaving the company after working there for 27 years. Poor Sony, first they lost the boys, then they lost the house. I'll bet that right about now they're feeling like my dad after the divorce. But the real sad part about all these people with word names leaving is the loss of the potential for dumb puns at their expense. And that's the real tragedy here. If somebody at your workplace has a word name, make a shitty joke about it because they might not be there forever. Life is short and jobs are shorter. Except for hand jobs. Those always tend to go on a little too long, don't they? I'm rambling. You have a good one. A good hand job, not day. We all remember the Wii Zapper. We never talk about it, but we all remember it. You peed your pants and everyone saw. Come back next week when we finally try to get the ghost out of my attic. I haven't heard it in a couple of days. Maybe it died up there. Only time will tell. Oh, wait. No, there it is. Take that with your stable six figures, bitch. Who's the loser now? Certainly not I who plays video games. Come back next week because we're going to be doing the entire episode in Latin. But don't worry because I've been subliminally teaching you Latin throughout this series to the point where you're so fluent in it that it just sounds like English to you. I've been speaking it for the last two minutes and you haven't even noticed. The thing about doing a weekly video game show based on news is that recording is very specifically time sensitive and I need a fucking moat because the barbarians will be at my gates soon and that is also time sensitive. It's sensitive time right now. We're all sensitive. Let's have a cry. I'm a professional analyst. I know all the cheat codes to anal. So it seems like developers and publishers are finally getting the memo that nobody likes these goddamn things. Meanwhile, Activision in their new World War II Call of Shooty game has their microtransaction money box drop down as a supply crate directly onto Normandy Beach. So now you can say, hey grandpa, remember the look in your best friend Bernard Thornton's eyes the last time you ever saw him as he got hit by a Nazi the artillery shell, leaving nothing behind but a plume of viscera which congealed with many more just like it as they disappeared into the cold, cruel ocean? As you made peace in turn with your own death in an event that would inevitably rattle you awake in the night for the rest of your life? Well, now the sacrifices and bravery of you and your comrades in one of the most historically significant battles in recent times can be remembered forever! Cause, cause there I can spend five real world dollars on fake video game boxes and they drop a, a bunch of bullshit mostly, but Sometimes there's little icon pieces and you can make a funny penis icon with them. See, this is something I can say and it's not entirely inaccurate. Video games, I love them. I love them! Dear video games, who do you think you are with your buttons and your joysticks? I'll push your button with my joystick. Now it appears we've mutually threatened each other with a good time. So let me make a proposition to you, video games. As you may well know, I am the greatest video gamist to ever live. And as such, my skills have allowed me to procure all the honeys. I am prepared to relinquish several honeys back into the ecosystem so that we may continue to proliferate the human race. But first, you must do one thing for me, video games. Memory cards. Bring them back. And larger in physical size, thank you. I'm Lyle McDouchebag with Destructoid and this is Pregame Discharge, the show that, fucking, what am I doing? What am I doing with my whole entire life? The only games, the only games, <clears throat> with news this week, really, Really threw up in my mouth a little bit there, and I, I got it on microphone, so leaving that shit in there. Oh, fuck. In an official statement, a Warner Brothers representative said, Mamma Mia, a make it a boy, shoot it a magic, we give a you the money. While making frequent and exaggerated hand gestures. Th that, di that didn't actually happen. Our lawyers have told me I have to state that that didn't actually happen. What up, you gone with the wind watching fuck ass? I know why you're here. You're here to mock. Mock the proud art of talking about video games on the internet with your so-called taste 
In classical cinema, I've got my eye on you, and you've got your eye on a film that is full of people who are dead now. So why don't you just take your fucking wind and be gone with it already? Because I'm tired of your judgment, and I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm Lyle McDouchebag with Destructoid, and this is Pre-Game Discharge. Uh, the game... The video game... The show about video games... It probably just frustrated one very specific person... ...and just confused a bunch of other ones. Why am I allowed to drink before I record these? That's the question we're gonna get to the bottom of today. Who knows, that's just my opinion. Maybe you'll be fine in the Minion Dominion. Or maybe... They'll take his foreskinion because you know that Mario is canonically uncircumcised. Here comes a new challenger for Super Smash Brothers. That's right, it's 50 Cent from 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. A real video game which, reminder, exists. One of the things that I see people say to me a lot is, Wah, wah, you were mean to a video game that I like. I'm a little baby, goo goo gaga, I hunger for delicious excrement. Which is valid, and I, I think it needs to be addressed. So the reason that I'm sometimes harsh on video games, and bear with me, because this is going to be a little bit hard to believe, video game companies don't have control over the afterlife. Now, I know that a lot of you are probably scratching your heads because you think, if I don't defend Nintendo on online forums as they take my money, I'll go to hell when I die. But no, actually, I read up on it and the concept of the afterlife existed well before video games. Turns out, you only go to hell if you don't play the stock market. Apparently, you can select notes and play it like a real instrument, kinda. For copyright reasons, Square Enix has advised you to only play Final Fantasy songs. But you won't, you criminal. You CRIMINAL! Okay, I, I can't believe that I'm the first person to bring this up, but this show is a manifesto first and a comedic video game news show second. The ocean! How come we haven't gotten rid of that fucking thing yet? And why is everyone too scared to say it? Alright, first of all, it's too goddamn big, and we should be bigger than it. So that's the first problem. Problem two, you can't drink it. It's like the only redeeming quality of water and the ocean doesn't have it. Fucking get rid of it! We're all thinking it! What, are we trying not to hurt its feelings? I propose that we kill the ocean and move its corpse to another planet that's already shitty, like Jupiter. Fuck you! Do I feel like there's a large, sharp object lodged in the center of my skull? Yes. Am I acutely aware to an unsettling degree of the existence of my own teeth? Of course. Would I perhaps rather be dead than here right now? That's a possibility. But I have seen beyond the veil, and let me tell you, oh, it's a shit show. If death cannot claim me yet, then he is a fool, and I refuse to attend his birthday party. <laughs> You can get your big goons to clobber your friend's goons. And then you could say, I am the superior goon trainer. Your goons are but frail goons. And then your friend will be like, dude, stop knocking my goons, bitch. And then your friendship will end over goons. Ah, oh, man, I, I just got back. I, I've, I've been in the future. Man, I got like 16 people that ethically, I, I, sh I should probably be killing right now. And you're probably asking yourself, what happened? Do we run out of bees? Do those Boston Dynamics fellers finally go too far? Is it like the movie Volcano from 1997? That wasn't a very good movie. No! I'm not gonna say too much, because I don't want to freak you out, ruin your day, but, uh... You thought whales were bad when they were in the ocean. Let's just say maybe, um, maybe we're better off with lamp oil. Days Gone, also known as State of Decay 2, got a new trailer announcing its third title, World War Z. It'll be available whenever on the whatever station in the Who Cares Box 1. Or maybe it already came out twice. Buy it again. Look at the dead folks. Fuck you. You don't even understand it. The only thing you stand under is a dumbfounded, slack-jawed state of shock. Just stare at the two of us wondering if you're seeing double. No, I exist in all times and all realities a same, including this one twice. And if we touch, the universe will collapse on itself. 
If that makes you nervous, then you haven't been paying attention. Monster Hunter World is going to be 40 to 50 hours long. And after you beat it, you got grinding to do. If that notion excites you, I have a recommendation for you. It's called a fucking job. Payday 2 is getting a Reservoir Dogs themed heist. The objective is to capture a dog and take it to a reservoir. And if you can make a drink, you win just like the movie which I have seen. The region, titled Egypt 2, will feature a two-headed King Ramses mummy that you have to sneak up on, but watch out because it can see in two directions at once and wishes to build twice as many pyramids with four times as many slaves. Also, uh, the level cap is being raised to level 45 from level four. Hey kids, get your hands off your honking hole. The only hole you need is hold some family content. What am I talking about? You know, when I first staggered in here, I thought that this was going to be a colossal waste of my time. But now I see that my time is probably worthless anyway. And I think that that's the real lesson here, is that video games waste everything and nothing. Speaking of wastes, you might want to watch those waste lines, children. You're getting a little bit doughy. And speaking of lines, I probably should just draw it right here and start the goddamn show. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that mocks what I, I guess are fictional children. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. You too can assemble cardboard into a chicken and then have the Nintendo Switch controllers go into the chicken and fucking Peter Molyneux has not said anything, which is nice. So if you've ever wanted to fly around and fight big naked folks with your friends, you finally have an alternative besides Seeking Jesus, the remaster that nobody asked for of the game that nobody's ever heard of, Assassin's Creed Rogue, is really happening. Ooh, it's weird. I like that it's weird. Somebody is probably laundering money and they're doing something weird. If you want to think the floor is made of lava, you have to realize that the ceiling is the floor to the roof. As a matter of fact, everything is the floor to something. We're all the floor in a way if you really think about it. But I don't want to get stuck here talking about quantum lava. We have more important shit to discuss. Besides, if you've been following, you'll realize that you're back where you started, which is nowhere, which is just as much where as anywhere is. Philosophy is nothing but a snake biting its own tail that isn't immune to its own venom, which though lacking is an apt metaphor. I give it a metaphor out of meta five. Everyone's a metacritic and every metacritic has its metamorphosis. I met a person who said, hey, maybe you should talk about video games now, to which I'd say, yeah, good point. That person was me. I'm Lyle Rath and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the video game show that's really more of a video game tell. Rend me unto death. Castlevania more like asshole-pania, as in that asshole be out of here in a minute because I ain't paying you to sit around on it, bitch. Come back next time and I'll show you ample karate to beat up anyone's dad. In the 90s, we were promised that video game characters would A, jump out of the TV, or B, reach out of the TV and then pull us into the TV and adventure would ensue. I am not even seeing the slightest attempt to pursue TVs as otherworldly portals to different realities. I mean, this is something we've been conceptualizing since CRTs, yet we've gone from 1080 to 4K and I have seen nary a video game character either jump out of or pull me into the TV. This is some who killed the electric car shit and I am gonna get to the bottom of it. I swear this is fucking real. Hi, I'm Todd. I'm with Atari. You might have heard of us. Global entity, global publisher, global developer. Atari wants you to invest in porting the Android Roller Coaster Tycoon game to the Nintendo Switch. For the low, low price of $750, you can get a discount, a 25% discount off the street price of the game. Well, predictability is the death of anything that would have been meant to survive, and I will tell you something right now. I am a survivor, you gotta eat to live, and the only things I eat are my vegetables and cold hard pussy, you know this. So if you wanna be Shaq doing kung fu, keep an eye out for this one, or you might end up as Shaq from 13 feet away, meaning you'll miss it.
That's a free throw joke. There's a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which is going to be directed by Chris Columbus, who, if my history is correct, discovered America? I thought that this man was a malaria-riddled corpse who has been rotting for centuries, but apparently he's making a movie about evil Chuck E. Cheese, and for such, he will surely go down in history. Because at the end of the day, I am but one man, but video games, look at them all. Look at all these men. MEN! As we all know, video game movies, they never happen. Only weird ones happen. Remember Blood Rain? Blood Rain happened. Rampage is happening. Why do those happen? The only video game show that will put you in that fucking snow, so help you God. And if he wants a piece of me, I'll take him too. Stubbing my toe is the Dark Souls of walking. There's also a wide shot with a bunch of silhouettes of other characters, including the crystal clear silhouette of 50 Cent from 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. There's no other character it could possibly be. I told you. Now I've gotten the last laugh and made you look a fool. Oh, hi. I totally saw you there. In fact, I saw you there before you were there. Let me explain to you a little something. In quantum mechanics, I just realized this topic is probably a little bit over your head, so I'm just gonna make it nice and simple. Something is amiss around here. Now it'd be eggs, ice, toilet paper, and cheese. So if you could go get some of those from the store, I've gotta take care of that gold screaming guy in the corner, because you probably don't see him yet, do you? I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge. The only video game show where... Oh, uh, yeah, there he is. By the way, brown eggs. I know they probably don't actually taste any different. I just, for some reason, I feel like I like them better. Yeah, okay, fine. Land Before Time 2 was 47 years ago. Did you know that the original Super Mario Brothers was discovered by the Pilgrims? Do you remember Pong on the Atari? Do you remember Constantinople? I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that no... Where to go? Get you a martini so well shaken, it'll be like you as an infant. And I don't think I didn't notice the shape of your head. It's all right, it turned out fine. Somewhere, there is a CGI Unreal Engine rendition of Andy Serkis's actual head, and I will buy as many loot boxes as it tells me to, because look at it. You'll not find another. Of this I promise, why am I speaking in this strange manner? Doth an aneurysm take hold of me, perchance? Verily do I yearn for it to act with haste. Well, it's official. Lawbreakers has officially been battle-borned. I mean, abandle-borned. I mean, abandoned. And by that, I mean nobody ever played it. Boss Key is now shifting to a different project, leaving the keys to the broken down Pinto with its publisher, Nexon. Is this the biggest commercial battle born since the last one? Perhaps not. Let me tell you a little story about a game called Breakaway, published by Amazon. Once upon a time, it's dead. That's the whole story. And the moral of that story is, it's better to try and have battle born than to never have been born to battle at all. Unless you're like an investor. In that case, yeah, that, that's, that's actually way worse. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't know what I'm trying to say. My friends, this week I find myself adrift through the cosmic unknown. Mm. My lust for vengeance has taken me off world. For a beacon has come forth from that one planet. The one with the dickhead on it. You know who you are, and I heard what you said. So cold are the wincing screams of space. Shrieks ringing out through the nebulous void as though the kung fu grips of a drunken madman are collapsing the vocal cords of somebody who thought that I wouldn't be coming for him. That maybe I would have better things to do. And that has severely underestimated my abundance of free time and access to interplanetary travel. God, why didn't I bring something to Read. Anyway, if you hear that sound, don't call anybody. That's just the sound that space makes. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show where. <clears throat> Oh. As G.I. Joseph used to espouse, knowing is half the battle. And you should really listen to that guy because he's jacked as fuck and has seen death. Would you arm wrestle him? Would you go visit him in the psych ward and challenge him to a test of physical strength? I don't think so. I know that I shit on game studios when they're fucking up, probably including Bosky in the past. I have the memory of a goldfish on cocaine, but that's because I want them to be better, not because I want them to go away. This is genuine. <laughs> this is genuine. Only a bummer. 
That was my bummer cough. Put down the alarms, this is fucking war. Valve is targeting adult visual novels for removal from Steam, and I am not having it. The big tittied cartoons that adorn our body pillows are all at stake! What are we gonna do, buy them on other websites and services? Ones that don't inform our friends how many hours we've played of each game and give us publicly viewable trophies that reveal the specifics of what we've been doing? Without that, what is even the point, I say, an outrage! Battlefield 5 got a trailer. Or wait, should I say Battlefield V? And the V is for vagina! Yes, that's right, there is a woman in a World War II game and the internet is a shriek. This is an outrage. God said it's meant to be saving Private Ryan, not concaving privates and buying shoes. Don't call it a comeback. I never stopped coming. My hot paste of passion is the mortar the bricks of this house were laid on. You may think that's vile, but it's nothing compared to the disgusting malady that is bureaucracy. Remember the last eight times they made a Halo movie? Remember the Gears of War movie? Remember the Tetris trilogy? Remember the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Remember the God of War movie? Remember the Uncharted movie? I can keep doing this. Jump Force is going to include bleach. And I don't mean the thing you'll want to drink after playing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know it was hilarious. All right, stop. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Pre-Game Discharge. What makes it special, you ask? Well, you do. Because as we all know, you can't spell Pre-Game Discharge without you. This is a family company, and we've been family since the year 1965, when the first episode of Pre-Game Discharge aired to televisions across America, touching the hearts and imaginations of children and adults alike. A lot has changed since then, but we still keep those core values and principles alive. So why don't you come and join us? I'm Lyle Rath, this is Pre-Game Discharge, you're in a coma, and the simulation is is shutting down soon. The Insane Trilogy came out like a goddamn year ago, and it's still, still, to this day, topping the UK sales charts even when new games come out. These quaint little people running around going, Oh my, in it, I'm gonna play me fucking Crash Bandicoot, I'm gonna eat me fucking candy floss and a yogurt, watch me bloody footy and throw that tripe in the bin, yeah? And then they Buy the game with the orange spinning feller! We need to know what's going on here! You may be wondering why I am underwater this week. Let me reassure you that I did not get banished from land as allegations have stated. I can go to the surface whenever I want, and any claims that my mortal enemy has been promoted to upper management are outright false. Dave and I are on very good terms, and I would like for you to respect his privacy whilst he recovers from karate-related injuries and deals with the infidelity within his marriage, neither of which have anything to do with me. Dave is a great man with a soft face, a heart of gold, and a jaw of glass. Coming as a statement from 343's lead writer, Jeff Easterling, I'll tell you right now, the only BR we're interested in is the battle rifle. To which I say cool, and also, fuck you for making me recite that. This is a move that is reminiscent of shitting on the carpet and then eating the shit to get rid of it. Technically, you've cleaned up the mess, but everyone saw, and I'll be honest, it's, uh, it's not a good look. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was built by Martian! This is something a nut job buys. This is something a crazy person concocts for other crazy people, and I'm jealous I didn't think of it first. Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are shining, the trees are shining. Why is everything shining? Am I in hell? If you ever wanted to see Mario run around in high heels and fishnets, I bet you never thought you'd see the day. The Minecraft movie has been delayed because what did I Fucking, what do I keep telling you? All right, everybody listen up. I know one of you has it, and nobody is leaving this room until I've gotten it back. I speak, of course, of the Diamond of Souls. I have many enemies who have wanted to claim it, and all of you here are my closest enemies. I, I mean that, I really do mean that. You guys have been here for me through thick and thin. Whenever I've needed an enemy, you guys have stepped up to the plate. And you know what? Maybe that's the real Diamond of Souls. It's been right in front of me this whole time, and I just... I've been too blind to see it. You know, it's funny to think that all this time you've been 
withdrawing from its power and yet are still woefully underprepared to face me. But sometimes it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And you're about to take a journey down these fucking stairs. You think I don't have a big magnet ready to put it up on the fridge, you fuck? Screw Westworld and their making of a horse and then they shrink the horse onto a little map. Is that what they were doing in Westworld? I, I only watched the first episode and I, I was kind of falling asleep. Do they make them tiny? Am I, am I having like a stroke? Do they make them tiny in Westworld? And that's why I'm glad that there's a video game coming out where I can experience the wild, wild west without having to worry about a shrink ray, if that's a thing or, or not in Westworld. You come here seeking knowledge, and for what? I've locked it away behind six Jaeger bombs. Disgusting little things, are they not? I don't know why anyone drinks these if not to numb oneself from the banal torture that is your bitch ass. The pilgrimage is long, and you have done well, but you failed to account for the fact- I don't wanna fucking do it. I don't wanna- Fine, okay. You know, a wise man once said to me, with great power comes typically a jewel or an orb or some sort of thing to contain it. And if you lose that, you're fucked. Needless to say, I took that guy's power orb and if he was so wise, he should have seen that coming. Meaning his advice is probably worthless, as is this stupid orb taking up valuable space on my mantle and ruining the feng shui of the room. They say that a tidy workspace is the canvas by which a painter drafts his own destiny. I say that's pretty you may be wondering what I'm getting at here with this terrible advice given by idiots. Well, that's the crux of all this, isn't it? Philosophy is like a game of badminton against yourself. It's sad, and if you get into it, you probably have too much free time on your hands. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show to recognize the great cosmic irony of its own intros. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh. <laughs> 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 You might be wondering why I'm drinking alone. It's because I'm having a party and told only people that I think are cool to show up. But you came anyway, so pull up a stool, I guess. From software, you know, the Dark Souls people are making a PSVR game called Daracene. There's some of them fruity little apostrophes over some of them E's there. But America doesn't say none of them devil letters. That's how the communists get you. They come in like, Aren't you excited? You're going to be a fairy. No, that's not even remotely exciting. How do you pronounce this? Whatever, next. The original game is almost old enough to rent a car, are you? Because you're kind of driving me nuts! You too can look at giant jiggly Tetas and pretend to be interested in fighting game mechanics. No one will believe you, but nobody really believes love exists anymore either. The moral of the story is, if enough people say it, we all just have to play along. And in my opinion, that's the jiggliest titty that anyone could ever ask for. You know, some people have accused this show of being lowbrow. They say things like, This video game news show is never going to be the 1941 cinema-defining film Citizen Kane. Where is the symbolism? Forsooth. To these people I say you are weak. Symbolism is the language of cowards. Look at this symbol. It's worthless. It's not enriching jack shit. As opposed to a big masculine letter like this R. How about you use it to spell a word like runge forsto? That's a turbo verb and it means I can smash as many dumbass snow globes as I damn well please. I don't need any excuse. I mean by all means go analyze it anyway but I guarantee you the deeper meaning is just gonna be what it always is which is you're a nerd and also ooh. Society! One person is a little green Luigi. His canonical name is Lugrini. It's not true. I've lied to you. Sometimes I do that. Keeps you on your toes. Yoshi's Fur Burger, or whatever the hell it's called, got a new trailer and he's- I don't write this show. I'm too busy writing the wrongs of this shattered timeline. You're welcome, by the way. In the last 12 of these, you didn't exist. Time is worthless, but it's a fickle thing to waste. And also, your parents have horrible chemistry. Society is an illusion, and if I can pen and tell you one thing about illusions, it's that they ain't magic. Did you let that sink in for a second? I'm a drifter, just drifted into town. I met a guy drifting on the way here, and he was like, I'm on a spiritual journey, my wife left me. And I'm like, Pfft. Bitch, I'll show you drifting. Basically what I'm saying is when you meet that guy, spit in his acoustic guitar and tell him his cowboy boots look stupid. I don't I don't have a grudge. It's not like I regret making the horrible decision to directionlessly travel across this country, bragging in bars about how cool I am, because I saw him doing it. 
I was gonna do it anyway. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show where, yeah, Nebraska's great, I'm glad I'm here. But anyway, Microsoft wants to buy them, and if you got a problem with that, punk, they'll, they'll buy you too. You ever notice how all those kids say that their dad owns Microsoft? They're not lying, they were just bought. They bought him! Hey, remember when Luigi, the new Luigi, had a green Luigi that second player plays as, and I said his name was, like, Lugrini or something, and that sounded like a lie? Well, this is going to sound like a lie, too, but his name is actually, canonically, Gooigi. Hopefully this isn't the last time I've lied about a Nintendo story, and it turns out to be true. Not that I've done anything like that ever before, especially not when it pertains to a certain rapper being in Super Smash Brothers. They say a man without vengeance is like a fish without stilts. Worthless. Smelly. Shorter. God, I hate it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Memory cards. Bring them back. Physically larger. I want them big. I want them blocky. And as a matter of fact, I want them floppy. Bring back floppy disks. My friends, we stand at the precipice of a new era. And I already dropped my watch down there, so... You know, there's kind of no going back now. For you see, time often slips away. And so to master it, you too must be slippery. For 40 days and 40 nights, I have oiled myself. And that is how I caught my watch. The new era can wait. Suck it, progress. But the show must begin. I'm Lyle Rath. And this is Pre-Game Discharge. The only video game show to subdue the revolution of time itself. God, God damn it! There's a mode where you, you get pictures of a character, you put one on, and then you put other ones on that one, and that one helps the other one. You have to fight characters that look like the picture, and then you get the picture, and then you can choose. There's a rock, paper, scissors interaction between grabbing a. Before you start, you choose a support, and everyone is fucking dead except for Kirby! So it all comes to this, doesn't it? You think you got it all figured out, huh? You think you got the puzzle all put together? Well, I got some news for you. Every piece is wrong, and the opposite of peace is war. All's fair in love and war. That's why they call it warfare. And I love it. Platonically, though, me and war have a lot of history, mostly written by the victor, and honestly, we're still trying to work out the kinks. But at this point, it's just about moving forward. It's not about who's still alive in Argentina, or whose stupid puzzle is put together wrong. That said, checkmate, but I don't just make this show for myself, I make it for everyone. Except you, Preston, you boner. Crazy people built a Spyro the Dragon drone that breathes actual, real, legitimate, dangerous fire, and it flew away. <laughs> it went to Snoop Dogg, it brought him a copy of Spyro the game, the new one, and then Snoop Dogg gave it a gold chain. If this is just what video games are going to be from now on, I'm actually weirdly okay with it. I know that's objectively not the right thing to say when, when confronted with this, but sometimes you need a little danger in life. Video games are the great conundrum of life. They always are that which they never were. Like a slippery mother welcoming you back with the same oily arms that dropped you as a child, and even though your ability to empathize with other human beings left you on that cerebrospinal fluid drenched marble floor, you have to begrudgingly admit that no matter how many times they've let you down, they made you. That's why when people ask me why I'm so fucking cool, I tell them to think about it. For that which is profane is destined to become profound. Fuck you. Press release images of Kingdom Hearts 3 surfaced with Winnie the Pooh as this awkwardly blurred out bloom of light. So at risk of making enemies with the King of China or whatever they have, Pharaoh, Pope, it's because the leader of China is apparently regularly mocked by being compared to Winnie the Pooh internationally. Apparently Winnie the Pooh is heavily centered in China. The new uh, Christopher Robin movie didn't come out there. No word yet on whether or not Winnie the Pooh is a iridescent blue of light in Kingdom Hearts 3 in China, or if that whole section is just gonna get cut out. I don't know. I, I saw pictures of this and I thought it was like a weird onion article thing, but apparently it's very real. I learned something today. You get to learn something today, too. Hear ye, hear ye, servitors of sludge, chewers of goo, citizens of slime. Today you are offered an opportunity to rise up from the doldrums of your soupy dominion and join me in my conquest against the oppression 
of the Amish! For too long, they've had their boot to the neck of the common man, and I say no more. It should be the year 3000 by now, at least. But their refusal to acknowledge the passage of time has been holding us back. I am done waiting for the clock to turn and the sun to revolve around the earth, while these heathens Deny science! The biggest thing wrong with Skyward Sword was that the motion controls didn't work. And the second biggest thing wrong with Skyward Sword is that it wasn't a good game. It's been a goddamn hour making a stupid asshole robot go up a piece of shit hill, dump a fucking stupid cauldron of water on a bitch frog's fucking cocksucker tongue. Just let me open the door! Is there like the Amish equivalent of a mom I can tell on them so they'll leave me alone? You know, I used to be just like you. Tired, hairless, unmotivated, acutely unaware of the shadowy figure slowly rising up behind you. Don't turn around right now, you're just gonna, ah, you missed him. That was until the day everything changed, when I read my own self-help book. Now I have a nine-figure job, eight girlfriends, and a gun. I used to sleep in my car, but now I don't even remember what it feels like to cry. We can do this together. Recovery starts with a simple $650 payment without consulting anyone in your family. They'll lie to you. I won't. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that's really more of a mentor figure. Mark Twain at some point said something along the lines of, if you eat a live frog at the beginning of the day, it's all uphill from there. The guy was fucking out of his mind. Anyway, here's a silhouette of what Sonic is gonna look like in the new live action Sonic movie. And if there's one person I trust in this world, it's the man who single-handedly penned the line, I'm so fresh you could suck my nuts. Swag. Greetings and salutations, friends. Look, I know I spend a lot of time screaming about vengeance, but this holiday season, I just wanted to remind everybody that there were those who doubted me. They thought me a drunken captain asleep at the wheel at half mass. But I have a vision that not even the silverest John is long enough to comprehend. My white whale could not take any significant appendage from me, for the two are one and the same. And as I sail into the santed claws of harsh, cold winter to Face the great unknown foe that my thirst has driven me to. Let the whole world bear witness as I, Lyle Wrath, and the whole pregame discharge family wish you a warm and happy holidays. Do you want to see a drunk old man punch an androgynous pretty boy down a flight of stairs or not? <laughs> Hello there, friends. It's been a while. What have you been up to? Fascinating. I'm proud to report that in my hiatus, I have not only invented the sequel to Sex, but I've also had it. Honestly, not super into it. Probably something I'd only whip out on somebody's birthday, but hey, you don't go to the moon every weekend either, because you're not me. But maybe if your arms were as strong as you claimed they were, you'd be up here to face me, Lance. Yeah, I know you're the bike guy. Look me in the eye and correct me, you goddamn coward. You won't. You won't. So maybe you get some new legs, like the humble millipede, a delicious and sensual creature. So if you have that much money to throw around and you haven't gotten into cocaine yet and you would rather do that than buy like eight TVs and make a big wall of TV, record a video your dad saying he's proud of you and put it on every single TV and that's your room from now on. What was I even talking about? It'll make you feel like you're a fucking baby again, except this time you could buy your own candy and eat all the candy you want. I got a baby job now, you fuckbag idiot. You can't tell me what to do. You goddamn Mark. Check this 401 1K, I'm in the medicine cabinet now, bitch. Video games are complicated. There's something that we feel like we understand, but we've just barely scratched the surface of. You know, when Mario jumps, you assume he's jumping because you pressed a button. But is that really why he did it? Is that all it is? Or maybe it's a connection. Maybe it's something a little more real. There's a force in this world that we can't explain, we can't comprehend, we can't quantify, but we absolutely know is there. And I think we all know, deep down, you wanna fuck Mario. Because we, in a way, we all wanna fuck Mario. Not the character, but the concept. And that's a beautiful thing. I'm Lyle Rath, and welcome to Pregame Discharge. 
the only video game show that explores the depths of the human condition and Mario's booty hole. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Eight more Gokus will be joining regular Goku, blonde Goku, blue Goku, pink Goku, dad Goku, and Goku Vegeta. Gimme it, I'm cuckoo for Gokus. Speaking of Gokus and individuals with resemblances thereof. Uh. Look like Goku. After getting in big oopsie trouble with Nintendo, Soldier Boy is back! Another week, another mystery to solve. You know they call this city the Big Egg, but I don't see anyone turning eyes to look for the big goose that laid it. That's not the mystery, that's just a coincidence. And any private dick worth his genitals doesn't believe in coincidences. I'm gonna crack this case open like the big stupid city of an egg that it is and scramble it up till it looks like Boston. And only only once it's a confusing mess will it all make sense, because this is the mystery of the missing mystery. And I solved it before the case even walked through my door. So now that that's out of the way, what can I do you for? I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that I, I, I don't always fucking know how to start it, okay? Let's lay all our cards on the table here. I haven't been completely honest with you, and for that, I am a sorry little sausage. For you see, I am a time traveler, not from the future but from the past. And while I'm being open with everything, I gotta admit, I didn't really think this plan through, and I kinda have no idea what the fuck is going on. Now if I know me, and I do, the me from this time will probably want vengeance on myself, for I am planning to make many poor decisions. That's why I need to get back to the past, so let's hurry this thing up. I'm Lyle Wrath, and I've been told that this is pregame Discharge, the only video game show where- yeah. Oh shit, wait, wait! No, no, Bitcoin isn't a bubble, it's the need I will have vengeance! What are you doing here? It's not safe for you. This is the action room. This is where I run complex simulations of likely scenarios that I'll have to fight my way through in the future. In this one, my enemies have gained access to the Nebraskan power grid. I call it Corn on the King. I run this one like six times a day, because... You know, I'm pretty confident that it's going to happen. I never wanted you to see a future that looks like this. In fact, don't look at it. It's weird. Quick, identify the nearest sharp object to you. You got three seconds. This is a pop quiz and you're dead. Because there are consequences to messing with time. And I'm not reliving the year 1938 50 more times just so we can have Cardi B again. God, was it worth it though. Hi there, fellow humans. You know, believe it or not, I'm a pretty relatable guy. Now, it may seem like I'm always off punching bears on the sun. But that's only one day a week, which is why they call it Wednesday. But that doesn't mean I don't get sad sometimes. I've spent countless hours curled up in the corner thinking about the ticking time bomb that is my appendix and how much easier it would be if I just dug it out myself. And if I had a nickel for every time I've looked over my shoulder today wondering if the creature from the void would come back for the orb that I took from it, I'd have one. You know, I used to hope that my death would be quick. Now I just hope that it hurts. Because if there's any chance that there's enough left of me to feel something again, I'd do just about anything to find it. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that's just like you. Oh, and Tetris is a battle royale game now. I know that sounds exactly like a joke I'd make, but it's not, it's real life. Can we just take this one easy today? I'm not in a very good mood. I just found out that trees are a conspiracy, and I'm not angry or even surprised, but I am angry that I'm not surprised. Does that make sense? Like, you see them and you're like, that's clearly bullshit. If a guy made them, it'd be way too obvious, but guess what? A guy makes them. All of them. Every single stupid fucking tree, a guy just made it. You know, any, any little glimmer of optimism or... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> My- my whole week was clear, I thought I was way ahead on my vengeance, and now, this comes up... <sighs> Let's just fucking start the show, I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that's the first video game show. I just thought I'd have more time to come up with a joke about how his last name is spelt out like Phil's of me. So it is ye that returns once more. The silent observer that slips unto this realm week by week. Don't think ye have gone unnoticed. Verily, I bequeath to ye a simple question. Uh, do I look like a fucking janitor to you? 
because I spent the last six days cleaning up the mess you made. You really pooped the goose on this one, fucko. I mean, do I in any way resemble a Boy Scout? Because I've been tying up your loose... I'm not doing another one of these. You think you can just come in here and tear open a window to observe another realm without consequences, huh? Because you can. I get bored during the week. And I'm fairly convinced that nobody at Google has ever seen human hands before. Here's a picture of hands. I found it on Google. Here's a picture of the Ouya controller. I found it on Google. You know I actually own an Ouya. I bet you didn't know that about me. You think I'm fucking you think I'm fucking around here? You think I don't do my homework? I'm more serious about this. And you could fucking ever be shit. I didn't think I had to say this, but I guess I do. It's time we do another Egypt. We've drinking the jelly of pride and thought ourselves above it for too long. But you know what? We need to bust out the sphinxes and the pyramids and show the goddamn aliens that we can do it ourselves. Otherwise, they're just going to come back and blow us up again or give us another wacky disease. And you guys are still hung up on polio. So I guess what I'm saying is either start making mummies again or vaccinate your kids. I don't... I'm, I don't care which. I'm Lyle Wrath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that we, I mean, we have forklifts now. We wouldn't have to bring back slavery and all that. I don't know. I guess I'm a Doubting Thomas, which is apparently a real phrase that humans use. I don't know where and I don't know why, but I'm trying to smoke them out. If both players pick three different Gokus, there will still be Gokus that Goku unselected. Go, that go... I'm having a fucking stroke -hoo. There's a teddy bear and it goes off into the distance where it fucking belongs. Namaste, asshole. Nice of you to not knock. Don't worry, I'm not whacking it this time. I'm just finishing up some meditation. So give me a second. I'm pretty fast at this. Fuck. Well, I finished. I beat meditation. And, uh, I'm a little torn up about it, I'm not gonna lie, because, you know, I reached enlightenment, I reached around enlightenment, I gave enlightenment the business. And for a while, it was good, but then enlightenment got all like, ugh, come meet my parents, are we ever gonna get engaged? What do you think about kids? And, look, me and enlightenment are taking a break, and honestly, I think it's more than a break, um... Can I sleep on your couch? I'm Lyle Wrath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that just... I fucking tried, man. Do you play as a radiated child and can lay vile child eggs? Add that to the list of things I should never say again. They say admitting you have a problem is the first step. I say they need to admit that I have the solution and their problem is that they refuse to step off. I know I sound like a broken record here, but every time we've nuked the sea, it has yielded nothing but positive results and has also been cool as tits. Fucking look at that. We should blow the bitch up. I don't feel like that's such a hard thing to support, but my so-called support group would rather genuflect to the topic of how drunk I am. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that didn't waste three days on this PowerPoint presentation just to have it shot down by imbecile. Shit! It's gonna be like Battle Royale or something. <laughs> This is the reaction to the biggest current trend in the industry. That's not what we're making. Take notes. Hello there. I am but a humble delivery man, and I come bearing electricity. Fuck, this is the quickest this has gone south. All right, I'm just going to be real with you. It's been a long week. Well, week for you, weeks for me. I've been reliving it over and over again. Just, uh, I've tried this. You don't listen. Damn it. Uh, okay, just, I'm not going to tell you why, but... When you see the orb, just don't touch it. It's gonna glow, it's gonna be bright. You're gonna want to touch it. Boy, fuck, do you wanna touch it? Honestly, I question your sanity at points. Are, are you like a moth or something? It doesn't matter, I'm probably gonna have to have this conversation with you again, but feel free to prove me wrong. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show where I swear to God, don't, this looks pretty similar to the technology used in the Google Cardboards or the Oculus phone VR things. I mean, my limited experience with that would best be described as an erotic tilt-a-whirl, so I don't know how a game camera following Mario around compares to a shaky-handed cameraman simulating intercourse, but I definitely do know 
which one has a better reward for tolerating the nausea. There are two things that bond me to this world. The first of which is physics, a challenge easily overcome. But the second is my prized Douglas fir tree. It must be watered twice a day, once in the morn and once after the sun falls. I have concluded that this is an unsolvable problem and have suspended my conquest accordingly. Once again, the prospect of interdimensional vengeance has been thwarted by a far more complex dilemma. I know that defending physical media is kind of like being one of those people that tells you to buy gold, but how fucked do you actually want to be when the dollar collapses? Let's just say, hypothetically, if the earth was hollow and there were lizards in the middle, I mean, that would explain a lot, right? Like the magma would serve as a big old heat lamp and, you know, if they wanted to get hyper intelligent down there, there'd be nothing really stopping them. I don't know, just a clandestine thought that I came up with on my own. You don't have to think about it if you don't want to. There's just a lot of gaps in the narrative that were fed that would be easily filled in by, you know what? Just forget I said anything. It's okay to be mad at me. I understand it. All right. I knew that winning the who knows the most about vaginas competition was your dream. And I went for it anyway. Throw me in the garbage and then shoot the garbage. All right, let's make this quick because I got a lot of vengeance to catch up on. I already vengeanced the fish before I came in here. You're welcome. Next up, I got bicyclists. I think that should be a pretty short vengeance. Shouldn't take me that long. If you need me this afternoon, it's gonna have to wait because I have to two-part vengeance bison and also people that use the word literally wrong. Then I have jazzercise class. Then I have to vengeance the jazzercise class. And then I'm free till the end of the day until I have to vengeance the sun as I do every day because it's being a bitch. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Were you gonna cry to me to China again? While I'm vengeancing your idiot brother, the moon. Fuck you! I keep forgetting that you guys haven't discovered that that's alive yet. Just forget I yelled at the sun. I'm, haha, <laughs> funny joke. Okay, I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that's changed substantially since I started using a day planner. My friends, I return more powerful than ever before. For you see, I have taken a big bath, but not just any big bath the biggest bath. Many have challenged me and said things like, Ugh, I bet I'm better at taking a bath than you. I could beat you in a taking the bath contest, but nay, I have taken the biggest bath and you cannot take it back. The water has already gone down the drain like your dreams and the bath itself scattered across dimensions. Is this my pettiest victory yet? Probably, but it is a victory nonetheless. I've got the Intel, the big scoop, the story they don't want told. I've found every skeleton in every closet and every Indian in every cupboard. That's not my phrasing, by the way. There's a shitty movie from the 90s called Indian in the Cupboard, where a stupid fucking child finds a tiny Native American man in the cupboard and he tells him he's taken 30 scalps. It's look, it was a different time and the fact that the title is racially insensitive is probably the only thing saving us from a remake of it. Anyway, if it's not apparent by now, I know too much. Don't bother looking for me. I'm a shadow, a ghost in the wind. To try to find me would be moot. And you don't want to be moot, would you? Hey, check out the loser who's moot. That's what they'll say. See? No, you don't. Because I'm looking out for you. Don't return the favor. This is a game for people who have free time and have not yet discovered the great burden the Epic Games Store. Look, no one wants to do it, but eventually we're all gonna have to bite the bullet and install that stupid thing. We did it with Origin, we did it with Uplay. We log into them like twice a year, and every time we do, we have to reset our password. We try all the normal ones, we go, which email did I sign up for this on again? We click the link, and then we see, oh, I had to include a capital letter and a special character? I guess it's the one I fucking use for my bank account then. And then you try to log in, and it says, you're blocked from logging in due to repeated failed attempts. Please come back later. And maybe, just maybe, if we did, it would be worth it. And maybe in another four months or whatever, we'll be prepared to deal with that. Maybe I just go where I'm needed. You ever think of that? Like the American Bakers Association doesn't have enough blood on their hands for this not to be personal? You don't psychoanalyze a meteor, you just hope it's coming. Is it too much to ask for that same level of support? They really did make a movie that looks like this, and we never get to see it, because you 
fucking dildos couldn't shut your squawk hole. It's coming out on Valentine's Day, and that's fitting because I'd love to not be alive anymore. EA released a video of the Frostbite Engine's new hair rendering technology, which no doubt is making all the barbers in the audience salivate out of hunger for hair. You guys do know they eat the hair, right? It's a, you know what? This is a conversation for another time. That's right. Mario is real, and he is my dad. Now, I assume that this is based on the characters and monsters from the cards themselves, and it's not just gonna be like Yu-Gi-Oh, but with goifs. Mainly, I just included this story to annoy Kyle, and people like Kyle, and fans of Yu-Gi-Oh. Video games. They think they're such hot shit. Look at them up there. Hey, get down from there. Shit. Mark my words. I will seek out a broom or something, and once it is obtained, video games shall be brought down to the height of man, where we shall meet them eye to eye and peer into their soul as they so long have done to us. What lies within? What do you have? Spit it out. Hey, no. Drop it. Oh, I will take you outside, video games. I'm Lyle Wrath. And this is pre-game Discharge, the only video game show. Th th go lay down. Hey, no, go lay down. If you're not tired of a thing closing in around you and forcing you closer and closer to people that you'd probably be better off never having met. This is a joke about adulthood is what I was getting out with this. But this time around, the protagonists are sporting the devil's crevice. And hey, at the end of the day, the day's over, so shut up. You know, I don't say this a lot because I figured it was implied, but you really should be listening to me. I know my shit. Doctors hate me and my one simple trick. It's called a kickflip, and it's basically an all-access pass to ass, cash, and grass. These medically accredited fucks are just bitter that I took them to school and gave them a third degree without the student loan debt. But you know how it goes. You can bring the naysayers to Kool-Aid, but you can't make them drink. That is a horse joke, and I am the joke. Jonestown jockey. And if you needed me to explain that, then you're not keeping pace. But I don't expect you to be able to play my game. That's why I tell you about the other ones. Stop, hold on, I know what this looks like. Do we really need to do this old song and dance again? I messed with the laws of nature because I was horny. Give a guy a break, fuck you. Look me in the eyes and tell me if you had a clone of yourself that you wouldn't give a tits. But for once, this isn't about tits. It's about understanding. And by that, I mean we need to have an understanding that anything that happens here doesn't leave this room. They say that your worst enemy is yourself. And if I believed that, it would be very convenient for my actual worst enemy. Now, wouldn't it? This proverbial they seems to be just full of quirky little adages that might throw me off a greater trail. Were my highly trained senses not attuned to such trickery. I'm killing a stone with a bird, whether it be in a hand or a bush. And no amount of flowery wordplay can convince me that no blood will come of it. I don't often exact revenge. Usually I just approximate it and the results are good enough. But this time a mystery is afoot and a foot needs a shoe that fits. Lest we leave the world to the likes of those. I'm Lyle Wrath. And this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that will tell feet, but not show them. Overwatch, oh God damn it! Listen, it's not you, it's me. Sometimes I just need my space. Ha, space pun. This wasn't a breakup scenario. This is a I'm taking over space scenario and you fell for it. I do need my space and this whole nebula is mine now. Want to see a planet blow up? Boom. Don't worry. As far as I know, nobody was on that one. <laughs> oh shit. That dinner table was super expensive, but it was very worth it to see the look on your face. You know, you really should try not popping in here in medias res. There's a lot of setup that goes into the and you know what? It's all to get that smile. Ah, ah. Okay, let's just fucking start. I'm Lyle Wrath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that- Oh, fuck, that's a guy chunk. I should have double-checked. God damn it. I just- I genocided again. Fuck! What a name for a game. Control. Every game lets you control it, you mook. That's why it's a fucking video game. What, you want to call your game Button? You want to call your game Xbox Home Screen? You going to call your game Installing Updates? One of two? You're gonna call your game D performing DirectX? This isn't even funny. I'm 
All right, let's get down to business. I've got my business briefcases laid out. I took myself a nice business bath. I ate a big business bowl of business beans. My fax machine is plugged in. That's all business as a matter of facts. You think I fax machine for pleasure? No, because this is video games and video games is serious business. I'm not playing when it comes to video games. I'm only businessing. If I started a let's play, it would be called a let's business because what is, what is this bit? I'm Lyle Wrath. And this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that's in the business of business. And business is good. Cause I like my women how I like my coffee. Full of spunk. You know when I started this show, I made myself a promise that I would never get avant-garde. But recently I've been thinking about this orange spot in the middle of this teal canvas. Basically, if you don't like that, you probably don't get it. And maybe you should take a closer look. Yeah. Shame on you. What have those poindexters at the Large Hard-On Collider done for me lately? So you printed out a long page. Big whoop. You want to know what the real antimatter is? This shit boring, yawn. Give me more antibiotics. I don't need them. I just want them. That's it. That's the story. There's bees. <laughs> Isn't it great that physical media is going away? Do you think that Ray Romano will show up and go, Ah, ma, come on, ma. You're a doofus. You're a gink. You're a fucking plumbo. Live in a shed in the woods with your gold like a smart person, you idiot. You're so on the grid right now. It's embarrassing. Nintendo kind of announced this. You can do this with it. And also, this sometimes? And who can forget this iconic action? Truly, we are living in times where this is both allowed and good. Everyone needs to chill out. Go with the flow. Flow like the wind. Blow like the job. Get a job. Work on yourself. Unionize. A union of you. Sinful. Go to hell. Hell is where the heart is, which is why you open your heart. As a business, incorporate. It's an LLC now. It can go bankrupt without you going bankrupt. Bankrupt Hell Heart LLC. That's what you'll call it on the phone because you're in Panama avoiding taxes. I never told you to do that, but I'm not judging because I'm not a judge or a collector. But if those ever do catch up with you, remember to leave my name out of it. You go with the flow and sometimes it doesn't work out. That's just the titties, my friend. And you know what they say, the bigger the titty, the heavier the flow. This is heavy shit. Everyone needs to chill out. I'm Lyle Rath. And this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that's marginally more unpleasant when it's not screaming. No more excuses, fucko. You're in the deep end of the pool and the lifeguard's jacking off. As somebody who actually played the original Gungrave, I can attest that I remember so little of it that I don't even know if this looks like it. A cultural touchstone for certain. You know, I don't plan much, but I do drink. And sometimes, in brief moments of lucidity, things all just come together at once. And then no one has to eat the biscuit. It's been a long time and a very long road we've shared together. And do I consider you a friend? Well, no, not even remotely. You're better than a friend. You're an enabler. And as an internet personality, that's all I need. Just someone to sit here and listen. Cause if you hear the sound of me dying, I need you to touch the orb. Not now. World of Tanks is going to have a The Offspring concert for the, I don't know, entire population of India and half of China. Who is playing this? Why? Will there be tanks just sitting in the concert stands? I'm kind of unintentionally selling myself on this. I yearn to know. I yearn for the understanding. Please bequeath me. I yearn it. We are finally here. The hundredth episode of Pre-Game Discharge. You know, it's times like these that make Make me remember why I do it in the first place. To obtain vengeance on Thoth, the Egyptian god of knowledge! You sit
hippie chicken looking ass shit receptacle. You thought you were so smart. Well, joke's on you, you cauterized dick tip of a fuck ass. I've spent a hundred weeks and two E3s commandeering the very definition of knowledge. You don't know jack fuck anymore, you idiot flamingo bitch. Do you hear the sounds of thousands of fingers cacophonously touching the orb? Not now, I won. This is what it was all for. And it was so worth it. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that showed those. Look at it. Look at it! I am aware that unleashing my party unto the world will have consequences. But sometimes to have a party, you need to break a couple worlds. Surely I do not jest! Help me, Shirley, you serendipitous bitch! If you click your heels three times together- Wait, no, shit, that was Wendy. Wendy was the Wizard of Oz. No, Wendy is- Fun. Dorothy! Fuck, that- that one doesn't work at all. I need a- Dorothy out of here so I can fucking leave a thee. That, that's all you're getting. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show that paints itself silver and huffs aluminum dust. I don't know the main character's name, but I know the onset injuries. What is wrong with me? Post-marriage content, which apparently was a big complaint with hardcore players, and in real life with pretty much everyone who made that fucking mistake. Not to sound like a hypocrite, potamus, or thetical, but a fourth thing that I've never fancied myself is a revolutionary. Now now I know I may have sparked several revolutions or several -lutions, and yes, multiple publications have referred to me as, quote, Rosa Parks but darker, but they were talking about subject matter. At least, I assume. My point is, none of that is by design. It is like my birth, a great cosmic accident, for the slippery mitten of destitution is fated to slide off a permanently clenched fist, and one that is naturally magnetized to all sorts of trifling is a plus or minus depending on what pull you're at. Suck shit, voting. The system is a process, and I can't even process half of what the fuck I'm saying right now. And if that's not grounds for a revolution, then I literally do not know what is. Which, judging by my track record, is likely. You can finally enrich yourself by playing Tony and Friends in Kellogg's Land, yes, that is real, from the comfort of your very own internet browser. I'm sure the thought of a porn tab minimum to do such a thing would warm old man Kellogg's cold, dead heart, considering he created cornflakes in the first place to stop people from masturbating. Yes, that's also true. I got a bit of an unpopular vengeance this week. Children. Hold up, let me explain. First of all, why do they get all the charities? They only live like 12 years anyway. Second, and I'm just gonna say it, they're shitty pets. They scream, they throw their poop, they carry all kinds of parasites, they're meant to be out in the wild. Wild. You get one in your house, you hear it scuttling around in the walls, next thing you know there's like 16 of them and your house is a school. If I saw a nest of child eggs, I would smash them without hesitation. People say things like, children are our future, I fucking hope not. What, you want your first baby president, you stupid dickhead? And every time I've brought that up, everyone just goes, oh, that's just a figure of speech. And then completely straight-faced will say something like, you were a child once. What? No, I wasn't. What are you talking about? Now, I know all you weird calendar people probably already got excited marking it on your calendar for February, and it's gonna take a lot for you to erase it or cross it out or stop murdering people and collecting little mementos of your past kills. But now you can mark down May 29th, 2020, and rest assured that you will probably be caught one day. My past is full of ghosts, and each ghost a piece of a larger ghost puzzle, which when unpuzzled culminates in, and I contractually have to call it, at this the ghost with the most and along the coast is an ocean of ghosts a ghost ocean a ghost <laughs> a ghost -gen. many ghosts have gone into the ocean they drowned! You wanna know the true terror? It's that you're in a water safety seminar now, you dink! You stooge! Look around, am I there anymore? Nope, I'm having fun in the bath without a worry in the world because I didn't fucking attend! Verily doth a vengeance proceed itself as far more profound if spoken as the sanctimonious frou-frous of old and old has a E at the end of it. Thine tongue doth gingerly draw them out like a timid pussy of which sort may be left to the mind's whimsy but not for yestermorrow's trouncing mayhap of one's partaking of theatrics. Tis already been wrought by such butchery of the form. Arr! 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 
Finally, someone stuck it to theater nerds. A previously unbullied demographic. I know it seems as though I've rendered unto this earth a whole most foul, but call me T.I. because I've got this whole situation under control. Call me Lewis Satcher because I'm known for writing holes. Call me Ronnie James Dio because something something holy diver. Listen, I'm not hourly for these. I pity you as I peacefully clip my bonsai tree and rake my sand in my room of sand. A rational purchase to be sure. You would see that were your vision not clouded by a general sense of unrest. Unlike me, a calm person. Fuck, why is this a skew? As with any rumor that involves trusting EA to do anything good at any time, I'd say it's probably better to remain skeptical, which lets you play local multiplayer games with friends over the internet, thus drastically reducing the risk of the dreaded eye contact. So many good deeds go unseen nowadays, which is why I'd like to shine a light on the ones that do happen. Mine! Which I definitely have been doing, and especially right now. It's like that movie Mr. Deeds, but good. If only you could see it, but it's over. It's left the theaters. It's all done. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Critics say destroy it immediately. Give me a piano, your Elton John. This is definitely your song. Are you screaming? If you're screaming, type ah in the comments. If you're not screaming, type a regular comment. There's a reason why people call me the LeBron James of gaming. When LeBron James discovered America in 1492 and built the first basketball court, he said, I probably should invent basketball, so this all makes sense to idiots. And for 40 days and 40 nights, did it rain Air Jordans? Anyway, the point is, much like LeBron James, I cannot tell a lie. And I did chop down the cherry tree. But I'm also better than everybody else at what I do. Because everyone else is out here playing checkers. While I am playing basketball. There's a word for people who understand what Kingdom Hearts is, and it's not people. Mamma Mia, that's a spicy meatball. Sorry, that's the only thing I know how to say in Japanese. Sekiro won the game of the year, and the award for biggest baby goes to you. I'm trying to vengeance philosophy, and I don't have any ideas, which means I'm winning. You professional existers think you're untouchable because you've stopped at the step one of doing literally anything. But I'll show you. I will achieve a level of thought so useless that the naturally scuttling hamster of the mind shall come to a stop in its wheel. The complete absence of every form of intent. A perfect equilibrium of worthlessness from which I can sneer. Lacking any vulnerability that might come from ambition. The ultimate philosopher. The ultimate critic. Not only not doing anything, but scoffing at the prospect of thinking about doing anything. Puma has created active gaming footwear. This product will go great with my sleeping tracksuit and my bathing peloton helmet for unstoppable sedentary prowess. Professional sitting! Look at it. You're a bird like Tony Hawk. The biggest bird. Maybe second biggest bird next to Big Bird. But Big Bird is a guy in a suit. Tony Hawk is a guy in his 50s. The dead god's eye that can peer into all things past, present, and future. So long as it pertains to video game news and isn't in the future. Barring unforeskin circumcisions, I'm not going to be cutting my dick off in disappointment anytime soon. I've tempered my expectations like fine, disappointed steel. It can't keep getting away with it. Where have all the used games gone? Into GameStop's used games and cream. A tender dollar twenty-five doth a sweaty cherub bestow upon me for something allegedly still worth twenty. I do not wish to subscribe to your magazine. The Uncharted movie, which may or may not be cursed by a witch perchance, just lost its sixth director. Travis Knight has disappeared into the Travis Knight, muttering something I assume about an ancient evil. I don't often admit this, but I've been goofing around. It's fake. This footage on the screen, I made it. It was me. Or you see the final announced fighter 
of the Smash Bros. Fighter Pass is actually 50 Cent from 50 Cent Blood on the Sand! Now there's a saying around delays that goes a little something like, but Mumsy, I want it now! But I think in times like this, it's important to remember that they have it and they're just not giving it to you. You should ask them where it is. You should phrase your question as, where is it? As though it's something they're tantalizingly dangling above your head. Creators love when you do that. They love it. Space? It's fake. Aliens? Totally real, but they're guys in suits. And astronauts have been guys in suits the whole time, wake up! Everyone is kind of expecting a Switch Pro to come out at some point, and I'm not saying it won't, but I will say that having underpowered hardware probably isn't something that Nintendo considers a problem that needs immediate rectifying. What, do you think they've just been in a state of abject panic for the last 20 years? No, they're making games for children, they don't care about RAM. You care about RAM. Oh, does this run at a solid 60 frames per second? That's you, you idiot. It's me also, but mostly it's you. I had to take a modeling gig on the side just so I could afford a second Lamborghini. An outrage by any reasonable metric, yet do I complain? Yes! Because I am a gamer, and that's what gamers do. Quirkcore is going to turn into a whole new genre of things, so I hope you're ready for initially charming things to be repeated ad nauseum until they aren't funny anymore. Something something, joke about my show here. I'm not sorry for forgetting your birthday. In fact, you should be apologizing to me for having a birthday. When I say happy, you say I'm sorry. Happy. Good job! Now, I'm not saying that some DeviantArt weirdo has snuck their way into a prominent position at Hello Games development staff, but unrelated, you can birth a spaceship? Your Honor, today I stand accused of murdering puss. Crushing Clunge, Slaughtering Sliz, and Public Urination. Now, there's no denying that I certainly thrash my share of gash. I mean, I am a gamer. But last time I checked, that isn't a crime. I don't know why you brought it to the attention of the jury. If you're trying to paint my character as an oscillating hunk who definitely gives the clamor his red meat hammer and pounds out pleasure pearls, then congratulations, you've done it. Nobody ever doubted that. I never said I wasn't the Barry Bonds of backwall baseball. But I ask you this, in this beautiful free country, is it illegal to have more sex than your dad? To view the booty call as duty's call? To take a whiz in a Macy's or deliver an urgent package to Tuna Town whenever it's ordered? I mean, it shouldn't be. I rest my case. New game where you get to be a DJ, but not like a real DJ who goes on stage and presses play and then bounces up and down. More that fictional idea of a DJ where they get up there and somehow create a fully produced remix mashup in real time on some crazy cyborg turntable by constantly pressing buttons and turning knobs that they definitely understand the function of. Look, what I'm getting at is, do you want to hear Billie Eilish mashed up with LMFAO? Can you think of a more appealing premise? Right now, you may see my face on a slightly out of shape body, which may strike you as strange, for I am known to be extraordinarily jacked. I assure you, I still am. This is like that movie Face Slash Off, starring Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Therefore, I am eating all this pizza for vengeance purposes. That way, when John Travolta gets his body, wait, when Nick Nicholas Cage get- how did that movie work again? This is like that, but the point is, he'll be fat when we face switch again. I won't be fat. I, I mean, I never have been fat. Wait, no, I'm Nicholas Cage. The real Final Fantasy is that you're not in or approaching your 30s. For the first time in my life, and I don't like admitting this, I am scared. Not for myself but for my prized Douglas fir tree. It's not safe for it here. I have made the very hard decision to launch it into space. It's okay, baby girl, don't cry. This is for your own good. <sighs> Do it. I will find you! I will find you! This message goes out to whoever the hell is in the bathroom.
Come on, what the fuck? You know this door doesn't separate me from actually going, right? The only thing in there for me is the shackles of civilization. I will unleash the beast within and it's carpeted out here. Hey, if you don't answer me, I'm just gonna... Oh. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy. Whoa! Fucking moving on! What's up, you healthy hula hoop squeezing gongus? Think you remain healthier than the rest of us, huh? Well, Shake Weight and Disguise Adventure has a big update for you that lets you dance with the hoop. A sultry partner in the waltz of fitness that we dare not be seen with. We got checkers. We got schleckers. We got Moncala, Crambledo, Flippus, looking at fish, Strumbletump, and a hard-boiled egg with your name on it. I have become I'm limber! While you were wearing your nightcap and tucking yourself in with a big warm glass of yummy milk. The artifact, which was Valve's Can I Have It Too, Mumsy, to Hearthstone. The Manila Clam is here. Oh! This is pre-game discharge, the only video game show that ah! I'm right, chuffed out that bloody bandicoot up me slit, sir, said the Queen of England, allegedly. Popping him up me back, you would be well good in it. She continued, grinning so hard that tooth oil poured out of her big grey smile and into her afternoon tea. There are people that think about going to space, and there are people that go to space. Anyone who thinks about it realizes it's a bad idea, and anyone who goes to space clearly never thought it through. And even by that metric, this was as ill-conceived as my signature skateboarding trick, the sick flip. Every single twinkle that lights up the stupid ass night sky is hot gas and bullshit. If half of them disappeared, would you notice? The moon is a soundstage because the real one sucks. But if you asked me to do it all again, I would without a first thought because it's bad ideas that bring us together. Isn't that right, my old friend? Yeah, um, you're welcome. Look, I never thought I'd say this. I don't even know if I really mean it, but video games isn't about vengeance. I mean, right now it's about firing a Douglas fir tree into space and then finding the Douglas fir tree in space. B but that's not really the point either. Vengeance is the journey, sure. And sometimes the journey is more important than the destination, but you never really know until you get there. You might not even know when you are, as long as you got something out of it. Does it even fucking matter? That's the point of video games.